Hey yo everyone, it's Johnny5 Alive here, and today's video we're gonna be doing a bit of a throwback comparison of RCT Deluxe versus RCT Classic. As for my recent discoveries of comparing the two, I was actually blown away and I really wanted to share it with you guys here today. If you're a big fan of the Roller Coaster Tycoon series and have a lot of nostalgia towards it like I do, you're not going to want to miss out on what I have to say here today in this video, so let's dive right on into it. So back in 2017, Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic was released. The year before, in 2016, I had just finished playing RCT Deluxe for about 40 plus hours. So I already had a bit of a nostalgia fix, but I went ahead and bought the 2017 Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic anyways. A quick inspection of the game, I was instantly thrown off. It wasn't exactly clear what this product was to me. However, the Steam page does describe this as a new RCT experience, remastered to combine the best features from the two most successful and beloved RCT games in the series history, RCT 1 and 2, while also coming complete with the Toolkit, Wacky World, and Time Twister expansion packs. Cool, so it has it all and it claims to be remastered. But first impressions are everything, and nostalgic gamers don't like sweeping changes when it comes to remasters. We like our precious little gems to remain somewhat the same. So back in 2017 when I fired this thing up, the first thing I noticed was the campaign was not the traditional RCT 1 and 2 campaigns. Instead, it's this new redesigned campaign which requires a freaking Wikipedia and PhD to figure out where the the heck your favorite scenarios were listed. They broke the game up into many different element sections such as the graphite group, the emerald group, the ruby group, and so on. As a true RCT nostalgic fan of the series, this was extremely off-putting to me as I had no idea how to play through just the singular RCT1 experience that I wanted. While all the scenarios are listed somewhere here, it was somewhat annoying to me. I instantly thought to myself, why don't I just go play RCT Deluxe for the original authentic experience, which I had just previously done a few months earlier. So I kind of just closed the game and let it rest, unknowingly making a major mistake and completely discarding this gem of a remaster. While the campaign is different, it's quite brilliantly thought out though. So we'll talk about that in great detail towards the end of the video. For now, let's highlight the major things this remaster brings to the table that I kind of overlook. Graphics and resolution. Right away, the game will properly scale to your monitor with a beautiful crisp resolution, whereas the original will force you into a square window or stretch to a poor resolution. Graphically, the game is so much more impressive. The pixel art has been enhanced across the board, and most importantly, the level of detail when zooming in and out is incredible. The original only had three levels of distance to view your park at, and at the very third level of detail, it completely removed details entirely, such as being able to see your guests walking around. Zoom 3 wasn't very fun to watch and looked incredibly muddy and pixelated. Here in the classic remaster, you now have over 10 levels of zoom. You can even zoom all the way out until you see your park as just a square little pad in a black void. While immersion breaking, also impressive. What's even more impressive though, at the very furthest level of distance, you can still see guests walking about and coasters moving on tracks, and the pixels are much cleaner and actually enjoyable to look at here. The terrain textures and object details have all seen a major reworking as well. Everything is slightly more crisp and easier on the eyes. Graphically, it's not a groundbreaking remaster like the Diablo 2 Resurrected or anything, but after doing some direct comparisons, as you can see here, it's exciting enough to appreciate the subtle changes and you will feel a difference when going back to the older versions. But there's more. User interface, gone away with the old funky and chunky pixelated UI of the past and in a more fresh, innovated planet coaster style interface. Multiple menus can be open, closed, and moved around individually, allowing you to customize a layout of windows that works best for you. All the information and little details within each menu are much more readable and improved functionality across the board. The controls and various game features can now be customized and remapped to better suit your playstyle. The UI alone makes the game feel fresh again. It's a much welcome change to the originals. 
Gameplay. While most remasters shouldn't alter the integrity of gameplay, this one does it, but in a much welcomed way. RC2 implemented many improvements to AI pathing, simulation, and creative modes like Blueprint Designer and Park Designer, while also bringing new rides, coasters, endless new scenery options, and even things like 3D word signs. Classic takes all the good stuff, improves it one step further again, but injects it back into the RCT1 Classic scenarios. So while you're playing any given RCT1 scenario, you're not missing out on all the wonderful improvements that RCT2 evolved to, giving you an improved experience overall. Scenario touch-ups. What surprised me even more was the art pass over every single scenario in the game, and there are hundreds of them combined. Let's just take a look at a classic like Dynamite Dudes. Look at it here in RCT Original, then look at it here in RCT Classic. The coaster has additional supports added in. Fencing along the outside, an actual boarding station on the coaster, western style theming all around the ride, a few sparse trees thrown about. All these little subtle details make the game visually more impressive and inherently more exciting. They entice and suggest to you how you could replicate these details and, and elevate your parks further. So these subtle changes end up being breadcrumb examples that unconsciously teach you how to make more interesting parks and overall elevates the scenario mode of the game. Every scenario in the game was so exciting to open up and see what's going on. What constraints were put on you, what pre-made attractions are laying about. Now you get to experience that all over again and see what fun new details were updated to your old favorite scenarios. And there are many, many more subtle changes buried within here that you'll discover as you play if you've recently played any of the RCTs. Most of these things you won't subconsciously pick up on and uh, you'll just feel like it's a better game overall. It's when you're coming off of the classics and moving over to this where you really feel the difference. So between all the changes mentioned here, this is a nostalgic trip and a new experience all in one. But there is one more thing we need to discuss this one thing that isn't a touch-up to the original, but instead a complete rehaul. And for some, like myself, can be off-putting to hear, which is the new campaign design. RCT1 was an authentic handcrafted campaign with fun scenarios, forcing you to play creatively within constraints. RCT took a different approach in making the game more of a sandbox. It brought in toolkit editor allowing you to make your own scenarios and mega parks. New rides and attraction, improved AI, better UI features, and much more. The campaign was much different experience than RCT1, as the scenarios were much more open, flatter, and larger. And I would argue it had less design gone into the creativity of the challenges and the constraints as the game was designed to be more of a creative sandbox experience. And that was the intention and the decision making with the sequel to make it bigger and more sprawling and about creative mega parks, a step up from what RCT1 was, thus making use of all the new additions and features that the sequel brought to the table. So it makes sense. For me, though, I personally drew inspiration from having to work within constraints. This is where RCT1 excelled for me personally, and as grand as RCT2 was, it never held my interest as I was always staring at this blank canvas. The campaign never spoke to me with inspiration, and it lacked those creative constraints which got me thinking creatively. So all my memories lay with RCT1, and then you can now understand how a completely rehauled campaign in the remaster would be off-putting to me. But this new and improved campaign is really the best of both worlds. The progression is now much more categorized in difficulty, and it combines both RCT1 and 2 together, while also touching up on all the scenarios like we mentioned earlier. So with the meshing of RCT1 and 2, RCT2 being more of a sandbox canvas style campaign, they decided to tuck those scenarios down at the bottom of the tiers as a sort of epic mega park building scenario to close out each chapter with. This works much better to have big sprawling maps and blank canvas style scenarios after you've sunk in your teeth into several fun constraining smaller challenges like the ones from RCT1. See, now I realize why I didn't enjoy RCT2 as much. 
I was thrown straight into the deep end. Instead of building me up through the ranks with smaller, more si bite-sized scenarios, it lacked that progression and build-up for me. However, tacking RCT2 scenarios at the end of a bunch of RCT1 scenarios actually works out quite brilliantly and seamlessly. So this new campaign takes the build-up, constraints, and progression of RCT1 and unleashes you into sandbox scenarios for the finale of each tier from RCT2. If you're not in the mood for a blank canvas and want more constraints put on you, move over to the next starting levels of the next tier, which will offer you a step up in difficulty from the last tier. And with this tiering system, it's an improvement to the progression of RCT1. An early on scenario like Pokey Park in RCT1, where you literally had to build a theme park in basically a backyard, <laughs> posed more of a challenge to people than the scenarios that followed it. Here in the remaster, Pokey Park has moved far, far later into the tiers when you are a more experienced park manager. So looking at this new improved campaign on paper, what we're seeing here is a very methodical, well thought out designer's work of organizing and categorizing every single scenario from RCT 1 and 2 and lining them up in difficulty on the horizontal tiers and more sandboxy on the vertical tiers, giving you a much more rich experience starting small and easy, building up to more difficult and sandboxy towards the end. All the things we mentioned earlier, the subtle tweaks to the scenarios, the improved graphics, that's all meshed into this new and improved, well-balanced, progressive campaign, making this a freaking masterpiece of a remake that I completely overlooked out of simply being nostalgic and stubborn to change. <laughs> so if you're like me, and you thought this was just some simple repackaging of the original RCT games, Think again, this is actually a true remaster and not only improves on the original experience, but combines them together. Whether you're a fan of RCT 1 or 2, this is going to deliver the best experience of them both cohesively while upgrading graphics and functionality. Which brings me to my excitement to dive back into this game and possibly even give those RCT 2 scenarios a chance this time. It's bigger and better than ever before and the originals were something I didn't quite play enough of so why not experience more of it and in the best possible form? So if you guys are interested, we're going to be streaming RCT Classic live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash channel5gaming. And if you can't make it live, all the VODs will be going over to our new second channel, Channel 5 Live. Links are down in the description for both. Come hang out and have a nostalgic time with us. And as some added fun, we're throwing in Channel 5 gaming points that you earn via watching, and you can spend them on things like getting something named after you in the park, or go big and force us to build something like a Giga Coaster. We have a ton of fun little options, and Zell and I will be playing co-op competitively. Two games, same scenario, same constraints, two parks. You ultimately decide what the winning park is, or sabotage one of us with your channel points. So there you guys go. We're gonna have fun revisiting this nostalgic remaster that I completely missed out on. And if you guys missed it out, check it out. Links are in the description below for the Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic Edition. Don't confuse it with the Triple Thrill RCT2 or the <laughs> RCT1 Deluxe Edition. There's so many editions out there and Classic seems like it would have been the oldest one, but it's actually the newest one. And I can understand why many people probably overlooked this gem and uh, might have been confused by what kind of content were in it and what it had to offer compared to the other ones that I was one of them <laughs> this thing has been out for four years and I completely overlooked it I'm, I'm glad I was able to do this comparison video for you guys here today so if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like leave a comment go check it out and come check us out on twitch as well as our second channel all right everyone thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video I know